Yes, it's a sad thing to witness, but all stories must end. It's inevitable, but that's what makes them all the more worthwhile. So it comes as no surprise that the anime and manga we know and love will end too. On its own, this wouldn't really be worth talking about, but for the shonen genre, it's kind of a problem. Now that all the big series are coming to an end, who's going to take their place? What's up anime fans and manga readers? Just this summer, two major tentpoles in the shonen genre came to an end, Jujutsu Kaisen and My Hero Academia. I don't think I have to illustrate just how popular both of these projects are, anyone with even a cursory knowledge of anime has heard of them. Every new chapter or episode brought in thousands of fans sharing discussions and speculations and theories. Those are just two names in a long list of high-profile manga and anime that have reached their conclusion in the last few years. There's Demon Slayer and Attack on Titan, and Hell's Paradise and Dr. Stone, even though most of these shows, the exception being Demon Slayer of course, never reached the dizzying heights in popularity as Naruto, Bleach, and One Piece, the so-called Big Three did in the early 2000s. They remain fairly consistent in their sales and the level of attention they drew with every new drop. Ever since the inception of the genre as we know it today, there has always been a successor to the mantle of the biggest show in shonen. With each passing year, it's become harder and harder to pick just one, and with the present generation of manga, it's just about impossible. Everyone you will ask will have a different opinion. Now, you might think this is indicative of an overall decline in the quality of the stuff being put out, but I reckon it's quite the opposite. We're currently getting some of the best and most creative stories ever to come out of the genre, and there's more than just a few worthy of being called the best. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some of the ongoing series with a claim to that title, or those with enough potential to someday get there. Our first pick is an unlikely one, but anyone who's seen the anime or read the manga can see exactly why it's here. Despite first appearing in Shonen Jump back in 2021, the elusive samurai flew under the radar in Western anime circles until its stellar anime adaptation premiered this summer. In Japan, though, the manga has enjoyed significant popularity and critical praise, consistently ranking high in the magazine's polls and earning numerous awards. An exhilarating adventure series packed with action and memorable characters, the main challenge for the elusive samurai to gain more international fans lies in its relatively niche historical backdrop. Yet, with the beautifully animated adaptation by A1 Pictures generating buzz, the unique setting is becoming an unexpected strength positioning the series to compete among the current roster of popular shonen titles. The second entry on our list is Gachiakuta, and the only reason it's not much higher is because no one knows how good or bad the anime adaptation will be. Yes, that's right, this one is still exclusive to the pages for now, but not for long, seeing as an anime adaptation by the legendary Studio Bones has already been announced for next year. Among the newer battle shonen, Gachiakuta stands out as one poised to resonate deeply with today's generation of fans thanks to its dark fantasy backdrop and gritty, intense storytelling drawing favorites to modern comparisons like Jujutsu Kaisen and Chainsaw Man. With its thrilling action, fantastic art, eccentric cast of characters, and unique world building, Gachiakuta is primed to take the lead in shaping the next era of shonen hits. Next up on the list is Sakamoto Days, a series that has already captured the attention of fans and critics well before its anime adaptation was officially announced, a feat that few manga managed to achieve in Western markets. However, the manga's success isn't all that unexpected, with a perfect mix of high-octane action sequences and genuinely hilarious gags. Sakamoto Days knows how to engage its audience and keep them coming back for more. It's got a likable protagonist, an incredible ensemble of some of the most quirky characters you'll ever see, and it rides the line between reality and absurdism pretty darn well. Since its 2022 debut, the series has gained a strong following in both Japan and the West, leaving many surprised by how long it took for an anime adaptation to be confirmed. Now with its release around the corner, Sakamoto Days is on track to grow even larger, and it's definitely on its way to becoming one of the defining shonen series of its era. Of all the series on this list, none surprised me as much as Kagadubachi. Despite debuting less than a year ago, Kagadubachi quickly rose through the ranks and it has already gained an unexpectedly massive following. Though its rise to fame was initially fueled by a bunch of people memeing on it online after it was revealed, it soon became pretty obvious that it was not just another generic shonen. As the dust begins to settle and the hype dies down, Kagudabachi is showing it as staying power. There are only a few volumes out at the moment, but it has already 
already introduced us to some excellent characters, a visually captivating power system, and spectacular action I've read in a while. This series continues to make its mark as a classic action shounen, consistently delivering all the key elements needed to become one of Shonen Jump's next major titles. It's becoming clear that Kagurabachi is far more than just a fleeting meme. We'll close our list off with a title that needs no introduction. Heck, if you're watching this, I'm pretty sure you've already heard about it in one way or another. Dun -da -dun. Occasionally, a shonen series bursts onto the scene with so much distinctiveness and flair that it's clear from the outset it's destined to become a classic. For this decade, Shonen Jump's Dundadon stands out as that title. A bold focus of sci-fi, paranormal elements, a dash of pure insanity, and a beautifully crafted slow-burn romance that has already carved its niche in the genre's history. While Dundadon had already garnered a solid fan base through its manga, the currently airing anime adaptation has already broadened its reach many times over. Studio Science Saru, known for their distinctive art style and meticulous attention to animation, has proven that they are up to the Herculean task of bringing the sheer craziness from the pages of the manga onto the screen. With their involvement, Dundadon is no doubt to captivate longtime fans and introduce a whole new audience to its vibrant, unconventional world. As it stands now, Don to Don probably has the most potential to clinch the top spot, but that may change in the months to come. An incredible adaptation catapulted Demon Slayer to the very top, and this may very well be the case for the shows without an anime yet. Perhaps Chainsaw Man will pick up some of its lost steam with the Reze Arc movie set to air later this year. Perhaps a sports anime or anime original will slide in and steal the title. Or perhaps we'll give it back to One Piece, seeing as it will most likely outlive them as it's done before. Anyway, that's all we have for today, folks. Do you agree with our picks? Maybe there are some really promising shonen titles that I left out. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and ring the notification bell to get regular updates on new videos. I make awesome anime and manga content like this every week, so be sure to check them out. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.